As voting enters the home stretch in Montana's 2020 election, the race for governor looms is one that will likely have the biggest impact on the future of the state. Now, we've featured plenty of coverage on where the two major candidates stand on the issues. And tonight, Chief Political Reporter Mike Dennison begins a new series on the personal background of the two major candidates. We begin with Mike Cooney. Lieutenant Governor Mike Cooney has spent most of his adult life in politics, including a run for the legislature in his hometown of Butte when he was a 21-year-old college student in 1976. Honestly, I looked about 15 years old when I ran for the legislature. Uh, people used to mistake me as the paper boy when I was out knocking on doors. But he won twice and then got a job working for U.S. Senator Max Baucus in Washington, D.C., and then later in the senator's field office in Helena. In 1988, Cooney again ran for office and won the first of three terms as Montana's Secretary of State. The advent of term limits in Montana prevented him from running for a fourth term, and he ran for governor in 2000, but finished third in a three-way Democratic primary against two other statewide office holders. Since then, he's also been a state senator, a division administrator in the state labor department, and in 2016, appointed by Governor Steve Bullock as Lieutenant Governor, and then re-elected with Bullock that year. As an elected official, and as a candidate, you have to have your ear to the ground and you have to know what's important to people. And that's, you know, frankly, what's guided me throughout my career in government, and it's served me very well. Yet Cooney's family history is something other than politics. It stretches all the way back to the first registered cattle brand in the state of Montana. His great-grandfather, Philip Poindexter, was a rancher near Dillon starting in the 1870s and registered the Square and Compass brand. It's still used by a Dillon area ranch, and one of his great-grandfather's original branding irons is on display in a wooden case at the Department of Livestock across the street from the Capitol. His great-grandfather also donated the land in Dillon to establish what's now the University of Montana Western. His grandfather, who married Poindexter's daughter, came to Butte in the early 1900s and established a food brokerage where Cooney worked as a teenager. Cooney says he feels lucky to have grown up where and as he did. You know, Montana is our home, each and every one of us. Whether we've chosen Montana or Montana has chosen us, we've decided to live in Montana because of the incredible quality of life that we're fortunate enough to enjoy right here. When it comes right down to it, this campaign is about the Montana we choose to pass on to our kids and our grandkids. Tomorrow, we'll give you a closer look at the path that Republican Greg Gianforte took to get to Montana. In Helena, I'm Mike Dennison for MTN News. Thank you, Mike. The governor's race also has a libertarian candidate. That's Lyman Bishop of Kalispell.